Welcome back to Decentral Live. Sitting down with Dave Poulos, CEO of ZBX.com. It's an exchange, but it's a lot more. Dave, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Of course, man. Always a pleasure. Now, we've got some big, exciting announcement from ZBX. Why don't you give us a little example of what's happening now and what we can look forward to coming up soon? Uh, thank you for having me again. It's uh, my pleasure to speak with you again. <laughs> of course. Um, just last night, we had a, a small party where we announced that we are giving now all users fiat to crypto and crypto to fiat services where we do it in-house and we can roll it out to other exchanges soon as well. Apart from that, we also give our users full banking services. Uh, what does that mean? It's unheard of in the crypto industry to even think of doing such claims. Um, any users who opens an account with us will be able to give them a full Swiss bank account. Okay. That means it's not just an IBAN, but it's your account where you can go knock on the door with a hundred thousand Swiss franc depositor compensation scheme. That's when you know it's a it's a it's a real bank account. Yeah, no kidding. And not just a subordinated IBAN. We also uh, announcing uh, very soon, but uh, or give the full details that we can raise a lot of money for projects for good projects um, through our fundraising arm in China. Let's face it, uh, ICOs, there was a lot of fora, but most of them, uh, most of the ICOs do not have a real working product, do not tie their, their uh, token with the profitability of the product. Some of them are not even working yet. So what have the Chinese been asking us since we are predominantly very big in, in Asia? is that they want to look also at securities now. Right. Um, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that if it's a security, it's a solid product. You know, I've been in finance for a long time to, to know this. However, it's another step um, to show that a project is legitimate, to give the full disclosure that uh, people or all the investors would, would want. So we're going to be promoting in 2020 more securities and also good utility tokens as well. And for those projects, we will go out in China and raise if they need 50 million, 100 million, even more. It just needs to be the right project that we believe in. And then we'll push them with our fundraising arm back in China. So everything starts working together. How to deploy capital as well. How do we transfer capital? You have to make it easy. Um, if you transfer capital from Asia, that's Chinese renminbi, which we can deposit and we do on 23 currencies now, which is unheard of and you want to change it um, to a stable coin and keep within the stable coin or the crypto side, we will also have 17 stable coins, which are bank issued and bank backed, which is the first in the world. We're creating the first digital Forex market. So all of this is the infrastructure that in the last two, three years, everyone has been saying, ah, oh, crypto is still very back. There's no yeah. infrastructure. Right. Well, we're doing it and we're doing it now. So 2020, it. it's the the year that you can say, hey, I want to deploy capital. I'm in Brazil, I'm in China, I'm in Africa. So we're mentioning the countries where the infrastructure to deploy capital is not there. Um, we'll be able to do it. We'll be able to bank almost the whole world. We're just not in uh, the United States, so we don't accept United States retail clients for now. We're in talks with the US government okay. uh, and regulatory bodies, but yeah, we we'll, can pretty much say that we'll be soon everywhere. That's really exciting, man. Congratulations on that. That's that was great. that was a Bible right yeah. there. So I, 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 I took a long, uh, I, I, I went with it, but it's good to understand the depth of what we're doing. It's yeah. not just a crypto exchange. Right. We are also obviously a crypto exchange. But that's just the starting point. You're offering full full services. It sounds but like. we need the banking. We need the fiat to marry the crypto. We need to raise capital for good projects. And ultimately, we are here to work with all the players in the industry. If you are an exchange, if you are a bank, a regulatory body, we're all here to work together and deploy resources all around the world, especially with people like you who are here to, <laughs> to disseminate to, to the rest of the world. Yeah, what, well, you know, we find, doing. we find great projects like you guys and we want to get the word out. Now, I'd like to talk a little bit more about the Chinese market for a second. Of course, a ton of Western companies, European companies looking to get into the Chinese market, but it's not so easy. What, what would you say? What's the advice to companies looking to get in the Chinese market? Can they do it themselves or do they need somebody there to sort of guide them through the whole process? If you talk to me over a year ago, before I went into ZBX, um, I wouldn't know even where to start. And this is the reality with most Europeans, most uh, Westerners, Americans, whatever it may be. 
we are very uniquely positioned that our board, our company, it's uh, European Chinese. So we really understand China and obviously we understand Europe. But if I had to go and raise money myself in China, I wouldn't know even where to start. Right. We have developed the fundraising arm because we know the Chinese hunger to invest in good projects. Um, there are systematic issues wherever you want to invest. The Chinese, when we speak to them, they're like, ah, oh, the uh, US stock market, obviously there's geopolitical tension, so they yeah, might yeah. not invest there. Uh, but also the US stock market is always shooting up while the economy doesn't much reflect it. In China, it's the opposite. The Chinese economy has, for many, many years, always shooting up, yeah. while uh, the stock market is stagnant. So what is happening here? So they're looking towards Europe now. Okay. And uh, that's what we've been finding from actual real uh, talks we've been having. So we said, okay, let's bridge the gap. We know China, we know how Europe, the European investment schemes uh, work. And we created basically ZBX with this uh, in mind. So if you want to raise money, you have the traditional financial markets where to do it. You can go and list on the junior markets, which we've, we've done quite a lot of, or on the, on the senior markets, the Nasdaq, New York Stock Exchange, Deutsche Börse, so on and so forth. Yep. On the junior markets, it would take us six months to do a listing. Okay. And it's quite onerous. If you go with ZBX, once we have the security token license, We'll list able to list securities in much shorter time frame. We'll be able to give the same regulatory oversight as other securities because actually it is a security. Yeah. And we'll be able to also list uh, uh, and raise money. So I think this is going to take the world by storm. It is um, the capital markets reinvented over. Yeah. People are talking about cryptos changing the world, but yes, there are steps we need to do, and. The way we're doing it is by understanding the crypto markets, understanding the financial markets, and understand the capital markets, how to raise capital. And I think this is just around the corner. So if you guys have very good projects that you want to bring on board, we will look at it, we'll make full due diligence. Yep. And if the right project is there, rest assured that the money is there to chase it. It's not true that there's no money right now. Everyone's saying, oh, the last two years. Right, the market's down, market's dead, no, no point in starting. That's absolutely not true. So where's the money? The money, it is around the world. It's just chasing the right projects. It is in China, yeah. but it cannot even be deployed. Capital restrictions, exactly. uh, the infrastructure, the banking is not there. So that's what we're saying. The market is there. It was never dying, but the infrastructure was never there to support it. So all we're doing is we're enabling. Right. And on the other side, we can also raise money, but that's a completely separate story. So this is, I'm not sure if it answers your questions, but it's a whole web of infrastructure yep. uh, that's bringing together um, capital markets and investments together. That makes sense. Now you mentioned the regulation for the security token exchange. That's going to be here in Malta. You're, you're getting the license here. So that would fall under the existing regime, the MIFID II regime. Yep. So whether you're in Malta, whether you're in Germany, you get passporting yep. rights. Passported out the whole EU. Yep. Um, we're getting Malta the, MIF, the VFA license. Yep which is very onerous here. So it's 80% of the work to get the MIFID II license. Mm -hmm. So by next month, we'll submit the VFA license. And straight after, maybe a few weeks after, a month after, we'll submit the MIFID II license yep. because we'd be almost all the way there. So we'll get a European MIFID II license, securities uh, exchange license, so sec for security tokens, to be clear. And I think that that will be one of the biggest uh, advantages that we'll get over any other similar setup. Yeah, that makes sense. And now you mentioned quickly uh, before we were talking about the Chinese market and their interest in security, security tokens. Why do you think that is? What What are they looking for? Some more, uh, you know, to overuse the word, some more security in their investments or what is the what's the driving factor there? As I said before, it doesn't mean that if it's a security, it's a good project. Exactly. Because even on the on the uh, capital markets, there's so many scams going on be it on the junior or on the senior markets, too much money chasing and not so, such a good project. Yeah. But with the Chinese, they have been bitten. They have been investing in the wrong projects. So for them, seeing securities coming out of Europe, it adds a much bigger layer of confidence. So we have been listening to the markets and this is what we're going to give them. If you want to invest in a good security, we won't just give you any security. Right. We will look at the security, we'll check that it is tying its profits 
to the token. Yeah. It's maybe it's offering equity to the token. So you're not just going to list anybody. You're going to really go through the due diligence, like you said. We'll only be listing a few tokens probably a year. Yeah. Um, it's because we will go all out to support those tokens as well. It's not just about the listing. It's about raising the capital. It's about protecting our investors as well. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Dave, 2020 looking like a big year for you guys. Again, congratulations. What are you looking forward to the most next year from the ZBX team? Um, I think we're still a bit ahead in that all the infrastructure, especially on the capital side, we're working together. Um, I think we will grow massively next year because obviously we need to beef up our compliance teams, so on and so forth. But I think the biggest thing is when the market will start realizing that things and the raising capital and the market is not dead. Actually, it's, it's bigger than ever and we'll be showing it through actual real use cases. Um, so the ZBX team probably will, will grow at a very fast pace, uh, faster pace than probably we, we even anticipated. Right. And I think the regulation will come together also at a European level now. Malta has regulated the VFA market, but I think it's happening on a much bigger level. We chose Malta because it's the most difficult and most onerous. And if I say it, people will be like, mm, that, is that a good thing, being yeah. hard and onerous? And the reason why we chose the hardest regime is because when Europe comes together to regulate under you know, the commission level, it will look closer to Malta than any other Right, of course, you're going to look at the top rather than look at the bottom. Correct. Yeah. So we'll be ready to go even when the European legislation steps in. So we're here and we're ready to go. Okay, man. Well, again, congratulations. Thanks so much. Thank we'll be you. looking forward to next year with you guys. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, jeez. Hey, now that I got you here, I got to say, check out our latest videos right over here. Everything you need to know. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. See you soon. Until then, namaste.